Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our fractional flow curve case. And in this series of video, we will talk about the breakthrough analysis. Okay, to be detailed, I want to know what is the water saturation and what is the fractional curve at breakthrough. Okay, and I also want to know what is the average water saturation behind the waterfront at breakthrough okay so it's actually very uh, simple but yeah maybe we can try a little bit more uh, thorough and a little bit more uh, detail okay so actually it's very simple i will show you the the, the simple approach first so i will make a new sheet Let's say I call it breakthrough or BT analysis and then copy and paste like this. And then let's make the scale from zero to 100. Okay. And then let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So the easiest, simplest approach is actually just, we will make a line like this, I'm going to make this thicker and let's color it red and I will squeeze it and then just take, make a line, okay, starting from the initial water saturation and then just drag it like this until it touches the fractional flow curve, okay? So we will draw a straight line tangent from this initial water saturation okay and touch okay like this touch the fractional flow curve so we have tangent line here okay and of course we will we can zoom in like this okay so the simplest way is actually just read the plot just read the chart so here I think the the two lines meet here in this point. So at this point, this is actually the water saturation and the fractional flow at breakthrough. Okay, so here. Okay, so let's say I can draw, can make another line by the way. Okay, and Let's make a horizontal line and then let's color it black, make it thinner. And then I want to change it to dash line. Okay, so maybe it's around here or maybe there. Okay. No need to be very, you know, very accurate because at the end of the day this analysis has uncertainty okay there is no way the one or there is no way one set of data for relative permeability that you use to construct fractional flow there is no way it can represent the entire reservoir so yeah this analysis has uncertainty Okay, so yeah, there is actually no practical benefit if you want, if you do very, very detailed analysis like creating, I will show you later. Okay, just drag it like this. Okay, and just read the chart. So the water saturation at breakthrough is actually around 40, 40 something. Okay. And yeah, maybe you can call it 44, 44%, okay? And the fractional flow is around 81%, okay? So it's like that. And yeah, if, if we make a conclusion, okay, yeah. It is okay if you want to show the result of value in with uncertainty, like approximately 44% and approximately 
81%. Okay? Yeah, because at the end of the day, we have enormous uncertainties here and there. Okay? So this is the simplest approach first. So at breakthrough, breakthrough. Okay, the water saturation, SWBT, maybe, yeah, SWBT. Okay, or maybe I will just write it like this. Water saturation at breakthrough, okay, is, maybe we can, like this. 43.35%. It's actually a better approach. And then fractional flow at breakthrough. Okay. Just show like this. It's 80.6%. So here you go. You get that. Okay. You get the value just by making a rough tangent line like this. Okay. 